Hey royalties, kings and queens. So apparently our internet neighbors have spotted out allegedly Devon Franklin's new goo. And let me just tell you, she is a baddie. <laughs> back to the challenge of girl royalty back with another celebrity relationship just to our returning subscribers you guys are the re mvp and if you're new you're so welcome please do like this video it does help our channel thank you it's talking about helping our channel i want to say thank you guys the last time i was here you know with my face on here i asked you guys please push us to 16,000 because we were stuck at 58,000 for a long time and you guys came through thank you so much guys okay so like i said apparently and allegedly our internet neighbors have spotted out devon franklin's new boo if in case you do not know who devon franklin is he's a free producer he's an entrepreneur and he is a pastor yes and he is also the former husband of actress Megan Good. You guys, they separated, they're divorced. Megan Good has since moved on to a new man, even though it's kind of a controversial relationship with actor Jonathan Majors. But Devin Franklin has been off the radar, and so who is he dating? Apparently, the roomies of the Shade Room has spotted his new boo. And you guys, let's see what they found out. So, on the shade room, they made this post where they said, Devon Franklin has a new boo and her name is Mariah Castillo. Mariah hit IG with a soft lunch as the two vacation in Kabul. You all know the roomies at the CIA and recognize his chain and ear. <laughs> oh my God, not the ear. <laughs> These guys are crazy, y'all. And immediately put two and two together. Mariah is a celebrity trainer who has worked with celebs like Angela Simons. And yo, when I checked her out, I also saw she hangs out around celebrities like Khloe Kardashian and the like. So she's not new to this celebrity lifestyle. Devil Franklin definitely has a type, but this one, she is hot, y'all. She's a baddie baddie. Okay, so let's see what the CIAs on this street came up with. So from this photo, she was like in the vacation set apparently what seemed to be Cabo and she was with a man resting on his neck neck and him and he had a necklace a chain that pretty much looked like Devon Franklin's necklace and apparently at the same time Devon Franklin was also vacationing in Cabo as he also had on his story and you guys from the photos you can see the, this, this folks on the shade room they're crazy they said same ear same chain okay and that's that she made this post that says Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Of course, Devin Franklin was also having summer somewhere that seemed to be Cabo as well. They each posted pictures of vacation on the same day, according to this Instagram CIAs. And also, the Shade Room checked their following and they are both following each other. And you guys, let me tell you, she is not the average church girl. <laughs> Okay, she is a baddie. Yeah, let's just see her Instagram page because if what they say is true, if apparently or allegedly they're both dating, then let's see who this lady is. Mariah Castillo. She has over a hundred thousand followers, and she is an entrepreneur. She's into fitness. Okay, and this is her page. Like I said, she is a baddie. She's definitely fit. As you all can see, and wow, that is her page. Obviously, she's an Instagram baddie. Of course, she's into fitness, so definitely she's going to be wearing workout outfits a lot, showing off her abs and her good body, because that's how she's going to get her clients. So, yeah, but what are the folks saying about Devon Franklin's new boo, or assumed or alleged new boo? Let's see a game from the same shade room. So the first comment here says, his women never mirror the life he is supposed to be living. And another commenter says, 
Low-key men of God desire baddies, but they always marry the totten their covered up sisters because they don't want you to judge them. That's why some of them cheat on their wives. FYI, men of God are humans too. Well, I don't really know if men of God really marry the totten because from my observation, a lot of pastors marry very beautiful women who may not be showing off skins and their body on social media, but they're definitely very beautiful and very hard. Whoever is going to cheat is going to cheat, be it a pastor or not. If you like marry an Instagram baddie, if he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat. It's not about the women they're with. It's about their self-control and who they are. And this commenter says, another gentle reminder that a pastor is still just a man. Another user says, who was in the car with Terrence J since you are solving puzzles? And this commenter says, is his church going to ostracize and curse this one out for being a sinner and not dressing like a Christian too? And this user says, this church man don't be serious either. Okay. You guys. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he is an adult. He's single. He's divorced. He's handsome. He's rich. So his wife, his ex-wife has since moved on. And why not him? I don't see any problem in that. But first off, uh, men of God desire baddies, and but they always marry the top neck. I don't think so. Personally, I feel like a lot of men of God, a lot of pastors really do marry beautiful women. Like, just take a look around some of the pastors you know. Your wives are actually very beautiful. They are hot. If, if, if by baddie you mean a woman with a good figure, alluring, beautiful, she dresses well, she's good and thriving in her craft or her career path, I feel like there's a lot of baddie in the church. But from this commenter, do these pastors go for them? I don't know, but personally, from my observation, I feel like a lot of pastors, their wives are very beautiful, you know, but they don't necessarily expose their bodies or wear revealing clothes on social media. And if that's what makes a lady a baddie, then maybe this commenter is right. Another user say it's like he's allergic to women that's mothers and has integrity and actually wants to live the life of Christ, a first lady. Well, we do not know this lady, so we cannot speak about her integrity. But speaking about the life of Christ, again, we do not know her relationship with God. And I feel like the nature of her job as a trainer requires her to show off her body. Because if you go and teach people about your body, then your body must be in place. And so she's going to definitely be wearing revealing clothes, alluring clothes, because she's definitely trying to want to get her clients both male and female so you guys so why are these folks talking about church men not being serious you know devil franklin while he was married to Megan Gould, his church people were cussing her out for her dressing um saying she's not a christian woman and all of that there's a video i actually put up on the channel i'll link it up where he actually they were like on an interview for a relationship seminar or something on stage and a woman who came to ask question was literally calling Megan good out and he had to defend her like leave her alone she's gonna dress the way she was gonna dress you feel like he would learn from it and from my own definition of baddie a woman who knows her craft beautiful looking good well-shaped fit even though she's modest I feel like he could find those in the church but it seemed like he never learned so is he gonna go through that route I mean I wish him well and I, I wish this relationship work if it's on to marriage but if he's gonna try to want her to act a certain way that is befitting for a first lady act like a saint when she a baddie according to instagram and social media definition of baddie then bro what are you looking for like what do you really want okay, these men always want them young and fresh you guys and there was also another comment i don't know if i can find it here but okay so i finally found the comment this person says on vacation where they sleep in separate rooms okay pastor and that's a very important question because I mean, except you're not a Christian. If you are a professing Christian, you claim to be a follower of Jesus Christ, then this is for you. You cannot, there, there's no double standard. You cannot live double life. You cannot preach one thing and do another thing. And the question is, do they really preach about these things? About abstinence? About sexual purity? Because there's a difference between being celibate and sexual purity. You may not be having intercourse, but you're doing everything else. I, I talked about this in the video with Omarion. I don't know if I've uploaded, if I'll upload this before that. But you're doing everything else. So this is a very valid question. This may not be your problem if you're not a Christian. But if you are a Christian and you profess it, I know there's, there's a struggle, you know, especially for believers, you know, to try. If you are representing the flocks, the sheep as the head, you have to do better. Like, just look at the photo. They're skin to skin. She's breathing on his neck. And you don't tell me. 
is sleeping in separate rooms in Kabul. <laughs> you guys, but I don't know, but why don't you talk to you guys on that? You wish them well. Everybody deserves love. Megan has moved on. He also deserves love and true happiness. As long as he's not going to try to want to change her. And, you know, as long as he's not going to want to do that. And I wish them well. So, do you guys really think that Devin Franklin is, you know, moved on to this trainer, this fitness coach, Mariah Castillo, or is just alleged that some share him? If he has, he's a single man and he's free to mingle, you know, but again, it's his choice of women that the folks on this street are analyzing. And if he thinks that the church women, the church people were breathing down Megan's neck, then he is in for a good ride with this one. You guys, what are you talking on Pastor Devin Franklin's soft lunch? <laughs> you know, apparently and allegedly, you know, with his new boo. Do y'all think it's really him or the investigation is just like too extra? And what are you talking about Christian men, especially men of God? Not just men of God, every one of us are people of God. Whether you're on the pulpit or not, if you're sold out to live this Christian life, what are you taught on sexual purity and not just celibacy? I mean, I give credit to Omarion because although he does not speak about his spiritual life as a follower of Jesus Christ and he's going the route to celibacy is something to applaud. But as Christmas is beyond being celibate, it's complete sexual purity. And this also has to do with your mind, what you see, what you watch, how you text, what you do aside of intercourse, you know, and all of that. I would like to hear your thoughts on that, you know, because as Christians, I feel like we should do better. We know what we're supposed to do. We should lead better and lead by examples. There was this interview of, from the Dear Future Wifey. It was in a church. So there were panelists and he literally asked one of the panelists about um, uh, abstinence. And I don't know if this guy was a pastor or some sort of leader in the church. The question was, are single men who confess Christianity willing to wait why am I making more specific? Are you as a Christian man who confess Christianity willing to wait until marriage for sex? Are you honestly celibate or absent? Uh, so no, I have not abstained. Uh, I'm gonna be very honest about that. And I think that's a problem with Christian men, single men. We, we say the right things on stage when we get in front of the body of the Christ, yeah. we won't be honest. Teach. So the mature part of me was here and say, no, I'm not, I have not been abstinent. Am I willing to wait? Um, absolutely. I, here's my only concern, not as a pastor, not representing change church. We gotta stop saying, that the right person will wait because that could be the right person and you're still having sex with the right person. It's the heart. And I agree with what she just said. If y'all are willing to step away and get it right and get before God, get before pastor. That first of all was a red flag. When you see a man who is being asked a direct question and wants to rub everyone in like, oh, everyone is like a red flag. Yes, I appreciate the fact that he was honest because he could have lied on stage. But who knows, maybe, maybe the person he's doing it with is right there on stage. I mean, he could have lied, but he did not. But that just goes to tell you the struggle among the Christian community. We're professing one thing and we're doing another thing. We have to be in sync so that when the Lord Jesus comes back, he will come back for a church that is clean and free without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. So again, you might like, okay, royalty, what are you talking about? This is not for you if you're not a Christian, but if you are a Christian and you profess the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you're a follower of his laws and rudiments according to the Bible, then this is for you. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. And yes, by the way, congratulations to Devin Franklin on his new relationship. I hope this one works out well for him. You guys, again, thank you so much. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And until the next one, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and sway. Bye-bye. <laughs>